What is going on, everybody? McLean Speech, our world champion, coming at you back here with RP Law. We're testing out John Tuko's second place regional winning deck, which is uh, pretty cool. Also, shout out to him. Obviously, any of you long time people know we've done like the crossovers and stuff. I super, super recommend checking uh, John Tuko's stuff out. He's also starting up some coaching and everything, too. So, I will have links and stuff to that in like the description. If you want more of a one-on-one -on -one experience because uh for me i like to teach kind of like the basic stuff and then if you want to go depending on what your level of uh interest is and what you are where you want to take uh, rp law and stuff like that i would definitely recommend especially if you're running into any struggles like checking out john suko uh talking to him and stuff too because he's able to give uh teach you a lot of insights a lot of important things with the, like tracking 2k counters stuff like that that your opponent uh may have in their deck and just individual things during like the game different things you can do and look for to be able to like uh again get better at the game if that is something you're interested in but yeah as you guys know uh John Suko's sick uh we've done uh crazy that we did i think it was like the beginning of january was when we first did like our like first crossover but it's someone i've talked to about rp law stuff for pretty much when the deck dropped uh him and handful of the other people that are in the, like the discord We've just been able to believe in RP Law since the deck came out, and I'm so so happy that uh, starting to get the, the results are coming for everybody. It's awesome to see, and just again, the progression over the summer that RP Law makes until it becomes the best deck in the game in OP08. But we'll talk about that later when we get there. But uh, besides that, I think OP07 that was gonna be a lot of fun. Any deck can kind of win. It's pretty close. The only tough matchups. Uh, really we just have like rob lucci Dao and moria but they're only tough because they got the the best card in the game the eight cost moria like with the that's their win crutch card if they don't see that you're probably gonna beat them but uh outside of that everything everyone else is pretty level it's pretty fun you got we got new leaders bonnie we're gonna have nl you got the black yellow luffy that'll be up there as well It'll be very very fun to play against all of them because again i think it's gonna be a pretty good set overall and very very excited for all of that too so yeah again john suko's deck list pretty much breakdowns that we know and love at this point i do like the two stacks as well because also like two stacks especially if you're a more experienced law player are like totally fine because uh again law is all about you just need to see that like one card and you can do a lot of just different combos and stuff too which is with uh any of our cards here like depending on your opponent Depending on what's in your hand, you just gotta adjust. Like the puzzle pieces are there, it's just like up to you to be able to put it together, uh, to be able to take out part of your opponent and stuff like that, which is cool. And yeah, deck list is fantastic. Again, shout out John Suko, amazing, amazing result, getting uh, finishing so well with uh, the regional and everything. Definitely yeah, doing justice for RP Law, repping uh, him perfectly. And yeah, thank you guys also too for tuning in. Excited to get back into more law action as we get closer to OP07 and diving back into all of that. So, yeah, let's jump to some games and see how it goes. All right, we got uh, Moria here. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to keep this. Draw our Don. Hmm. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to go for the ultimate info read here because <laughs> I have a little bit of a combo here. So they dropped the Sindri. Let's see what kind of game we got. Okay, they got the Absalom. All right. So they do that. Okay, so what do I want to do about this then? Because they have Absalom, so they can bring in this next turn to pop this. I need to keep this for that. Do I want to? Hmm. Because I could just pop, probably just pop them down here. And then next turn, we'll, we'll be at five. We can do this. Drop uh, this into the boys, potentially there. All right, I'm just going to put two on. And then we'll attack here. So we're... If they have Perona, that would be not great. I'd probably have to sack Queen. Because I kind of want to keep uh, the ramp. Just because we have Ray. But we'll just put him in that... Uh, again, the spot where... Then if they... Play Perona. Instead, we have Max out here, so we can just uh, get rid of Perona. 
Because we know they have Absalom that they're going to bring back at some point. And I just need to hold on to this. Okay, they do have the Perona. Okay. So they're going... Alright, well, we'll see what they do here then. So I'm kind of okay with this either way. So if they bring in Absalom, then we can... We have Otama, so we can get rid of it. And I can still go, again, we got our ramp options here. So we're we putting the pressure on them to make a decision here. <laughs> to go for uh, this or this. So we'll just see what they, they bring in here. See what we can do. So they trash that. All right, they're going Absalom. Okay. So yeah, we can bottleneck this. And then now we'll just try to play around cards in hand. So if they can't get another one. All right, so we'll take that there. So, okay, that's actually massive here. And we get the Fire Fist. So, all right. They still have this. They don't have another Absalom. So, unless they have one in hand, we're, we're just going to play around all of that there. Um, all right. So, I will drop uh, this onto here. And then we're going to drop down Bon Clay. Then I'm going to now attack them six on five. And they already sacked two cards off the rip there so we're able to hit them here then I can go one two three we can now get rid of this I could do where would we be at five so now we'll bring in the boys get us to there okay so now we put the pressure on them they can't bring in Perona because uh, we're at four cards so we don't have to worry about this so we're playing around that and then if they don't have another Absalom in hand we're chilling because they have one rob in here they have this in here and they have this in here that they can't bring back so we'll see uh how things go obviously we'll probably if they attack us high here we'll take one more i may go into queen uh next turn it just depends on what they drop and if they can get rid of anything or not so we'll just have to play around with that because we do have the fire fist if we need it um uh, i prefer not to use it this early i'd like to save it for later on but we'll be at 7 Dawn, which is nice. So it'll just kind of free up things here. So they're just attacking me. Okay, we'll just take that. All right, we get Gordon. All right, nice. So what do they have here then? They're going to drop that Sakazuki. Yeah, I've been seeing people play doing this. All right. So they'll get rid of this. Because if they don't, they'll be crazy. Because then I can just drop a... They kind of have to. But good news is we can get rid of this. So that's cool. Now I get another Gordon. All right, so what do I want to do here? Because I could drop Ray. Um, would you get two cards there? Obviously, then I can do this and this and hold on to this. To get rid of this guy here. All right, well, let's just attack a five. See what they do. And we'll just play off in that. So, still no Absalom. We're just playing Absalom. Okay, they're okay. They're playing crazy with it. Okay. So, we'll drop this down there. Oh, I messed up. I forgot they're at six. Oops. <laughs> so, we'll drop this then. We'll do that there. And then, where am I going to be at Don-wise? So, I'll drop another one. Uh, I'll drop uh, another one here. Onto that there. And then, we'll go one, two, three. Here to that, bring in this one. My bad. My bad. Misplay out of me. Bad Dodd management skill. <laughs> Could have got two extra cards there. May cost us. And so we'll see. Bad play out of me on that one. My bad. But we'll be back to six. So I can then do this. Potentially, we have Bon Clay as well here. It just depends on kind of what they got. Because again, our, we're still playing uh, the Absalom Roulette, pretty much. They do have Rob here. So if they have a Moria, they could do that play. So, all right, they're doing that there. Uh, I'll go no. We'll just block that. Because it looks like, yeah, they're going to drop Moria. And then bring in something. Since they have eight, that's what I'm going off in there. So, yeah, there's Moria. All right. Into Rob, and then into Helmepo. All right, well, at least they only can get rid of one, so that's cool. So we can play around that. 
And yeah, I just need to, if I can bounce them down to one here, because then I'll be at six. It'll be close. Yeah, me misplaying on Ray definitely uh, might cost this, though. I'm not going to lie. That was a goof out of me. I uh, totally forgot about it. I thought that they would have only been six on that turn. So, whoops. So, they do that there. All right. So, okay, we get Gordon. That's actually massive. Because now that allows me to do this and this, and we can still get rid of this. So, all right, let me just attack uh, the five. My goal is to get them down to one here. So, all right, they do that. Okay. Then I'll attack them again. So they take the one there. All right, so we'll drop this here. I'm going to do this. Draw two. Select one to trash. Um, all right, we'll trash this. And then we'll do Gordon onto this here. Then we'll go one, two, three. Get rid of that. Bring in Bond Clay, which gives us another one. And now I can attack six on five again. All right, so we get him down to the one. Okay, so this is kind of it for sequence of events here. Again, Absalom Roulette <laughs> of... Uh, what they could grab and what they can get and stuff like that but definitely wishing i wouldn't have goofed the ray and got had those extra cards in hand that would have been uh been massive but hey we got the fire fist in case they bring in rebecca and something so we could still go for a game there put them in the spot so they're dropping kuzan to draw a card that's kind of decent because uh i have this if they attack for a five obviously but yeah, they can't really bring in too much here. And then if they can't get rid of Bond Clay, obviously we can rip a 9k off their forehead. So we can do that. Which uh, would be nice. If I can keep these three, we're looking at a good spot. Because I would just attack uh, straight up here. So they're attacking me 7 on 5. Interesting. Interesting. So, Hogback, they're going to grab Perona probably for the 2k. I mean, I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, them not going for a character is kind of crazy. So, alright. Wait, they grab Moria? Dude, what? Okay. I, don't, I have no idea what the... Oh, did they send? Perona? Dude, that's kind of wild and wacky. Um, five on five. No. I'll just block uh, this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess they they must be bricked in hand or something. So they they hit this and tried to uh, get something. So they're just going for the game. So, uh, yeah. Not that it really matters here now. Okay. Um, We'll do this. Attack them nine on five here. See what they do. All right, and then I can just do, we'll attack him here. Five on five. They'd have to sack something there. And then we'll attack him again. Five on five. And all right, they get rid of that there. So unless these are all a bunch there, we can attack him 11 on five here. And there we go. Obviously, sorry, apologies for the, <laughs> the bad raid play. Uh, we would have uh, had that in hand, but again, Outside of that, just paying attention, being able to play around their cards. Again, against us, they normally always will mulligan for Perona because uh, it's super good to put us in that weird trap where they can hit a life and then still get rid of a card. Uh, but we just put them in that weird spot. Again, I love if you have the boys, and especially if the boys in Ray, uh, being able to just do that. Obviously, again, misplay out of me. That could have been costly. Definitely put you guys on edge a little bit. <laughs> My bad. Uh, a little, a little rusty still. Been, uh, haven't played a lot in a minute. Been grinding uh, Marco and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, cool uh, result there. Obviously, Moria, it is doable. If you, again, you just got to be super up on it. And luckily, though, yeah, bailed out with my misplay with uh, Ray. But yeah, worked out there. And yeah, put them into the spot. No, they didn't get another Absalom. So we're okay. And then obviously then from there on then just playing around Perona. So we don't have to worry about Perona's ability and stuff like that. Getting the fire fist to hold it just in case they drop the Rebecca and stuff like that. 
was key and yeah there you go on top of uh, moria all right we got some law v law action here we won the coin flip get to go second so we got our combo here which i love they're just dropping gordon off the rip they uh, will regret that because we have our combo here i uh, can't do anything there so we'll end our turn here and i guess we'll see if they drop anything okay so they have three so we'll do that and they're bringing in Zoro. Okay. What if I make a crazy play and don't attack them next turn? So they can't use this. <laughs> and then, uh... Oh. Okay. Interesting. That's, uh... So they're gonna be at three. I'm gonna get rid of this. There's a couple different things I could do. I could drop this. So we get rid of this. Because I can bring in the boys to get us back. There. And then not have to worry about that there. We'd have to... They're going to only be at three. They'd obviously be able to use this to get rid of something. Okay. We might make that play. Instead. So I can do... This here. Onto this. And then we'll go one, two, three. Get rid of this. Bring in the boys here. So that way we keep them at the three and then still get them down one. And we can force them. Obviously, they're only at three. We're going to be at five next turn. So they can't really do a whole lot. If they don't have, and especially, yeah, if they don't have ramp, uh, we don't have to worry about that there. I'm kind of bricked in hand, so we'll take that. <laughs> and then, all right, we'll block this with Bon Clay because we don't really need Bon Clay in this matchup. They dropped the Shariah. All right, and then they're going for it, so... See what they bring in. Bring in Ray. So they're at none. They can't use their ability at all uh, this next turn. So that's kind of crazy. I might just drop a Gordon then. Uh, minus this time. We could just try to completely hand starve him out here. Because I also have this. Because I can I can still bring in an Ain if I need to. Um, hmm. We I might make that play. So let me drop this down. And I'll put it on the the Shariah here. And we're going to make a fun little play. Okay, so they do that. All right. I could then drop Zoro. And then attack it again. And we'll play around with that there. So let me deploy Zoro here. And then we'll use our ability. One, two, three. We'll get rid of this. I'll bring in Ain to get us there. And all right, I'm gonna attack him again. Five on five here. Okay, they're going for. All right, I'll attack him again. All right, <laughs> they. Okay, interesting. Well, we'll see what happens. They only have two Don, so they can't use leader ability. And all right, they do that. Okay. And then, all right. And then I'll take this. Okay. So now we can, they're down to two. I could probably just do the same thing here. Like uh, attack him again. I could drop this to get extra down. I probably don't need to. Again, they're at two, so I'd want to bring in Ray at the end. So, all right, do the same thing. Let's attack this five on five. See what they do here kind of making them commit to uh, this game plan all right so they sack the chopper okay so I use this I can minus this down and then what do I have here because I could just drop this and this get rid of this drop Ray because they're at two no that put me up one actually I can't do that so if I want to bring in Ray for the the counter we can't do that um, hmm. I have the 2k here, though. The 1. Because if I drop this, I guess it's a 6. They're at 2. So I could just drop Shariah for 3. Then we have the Gordon as well. That might be the play. Okay, they're playing crazy aggressive with stuff, so I'll do this. So we're able to get rid of that there. Alrighty, cool. So I can do this onto this here. Uh, we'll drop down Shariah as well here. I'll go one, two, three. 
get rid of this. And then since we're at two, they're at two, we'll bring in Ray, get some cards back. All right. So we got them here in hand. Uh, I got the 2K. We got this stuff here. Obviously, I can use Kid if we need to. So they can't really play to him. Because again, they went crazy. In the mirror matchup, your opponent is going crazy with Don removal. If you don't have... Uh, kind of got to adjust to it. That's where it gets a little tricky. But, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we can just do this. And I'll sack uh, Bon Clay here. Because, yeah, obviously... We can just do that. If they don't have removal, we're chilling. So now this is at seven. And okay, they give up. <laughs> I guess they're gonna bring Kid and Killer in. I don't know they uh what the plan there was. Because they they had four. They could have just attacked, they would have blocked, and then bring in Kid and Killer. They would have attacked again. I could have blocked out and then maybe bring in another kid and killer. But we could have just hand starved them out, I guess. But again, they went crazy with defense there. So we were able to then put them in like the hand starve mode. And in the mirror matchup, that's what I try to do is if I can hand starve out my opponent, then obviously then it doesn't really matter what they have in their life. Because based on this, we would have just been able to do a clean sweep after this turn and we would have beaten them. Because uh, I would have been at four Don. We would have had everything on the board. So it wouldn't have mattered. I guess they were just going for game, but again, we dropped the Shariah, so they would have had to commit to removing him. So that's the other aspect too, with if you get the late blocker in this. If your opponent is going crazy, burning Don, you just put them in that trap where with Shariah on the board, they would have had to drop a Gordon or a Max or the Otama and then still use three Don to remove something. And that would have only left them with the one. And obviously we have the 2K here and them only being able to attack one even if they brought the kid and killer in, I would have been able to block and then they would have only had that. So then we could have, would have cleared that, keeping ourselves at the one life. They would have only been able to three Don again the next turn. So I, it probably, it wouldn't have really mattered. They would have had to hit depending on our stuff there because we would have got them down to here and they draw the Otama and stuff as well. So with us getting the kid and we would draw Ray. So I would have hit Ray next turn and got two more cards to be able to stall and then it would have been ggs either way even if they would have made like the other play with the the stuff there if they were again if they theoretically got rid of shariah instead but in this uh matchup again you kind of got to play around your cards and what your opponent does if your opponent's going crazy aggressive uh with removal and obviously again they create create did the like the the biggest sin you never want to go down to where you go Trap yourself in a turn where you can't use your ability. Like them going down to zero is massive because again, it just completely takes them out from an entire turn because then they can't play characters. They can't use ability, bring in any characters. So you don't want to do that. Again, even in the mirror matchup, you need to make sure you have Don to be able to have the flexibility of doing a bunch of different things. And they, uh, again, went crazy with it. With the defense and stuff there and and the ability so that gave me the sign of how i then needed to play against them uh from there because again we put them in a spot they miss a turn it throws them off so then they can't do like a kid and killer and then the next turn if they have another kid and killer bring in another kid and killer you know so don't be afraid if to just play board and try to hand starve your opponent out because again if if they wouldn't hit ray they would have been super cooked uh like we would have blasted through them uh easily like uh based on that like this is the only reason that cap a minute but yeah that's what i kind of like to do if my opponent's going aggressive with removal and stuff and especially too if they don't have ramp to bring it off ability that's uh your sign again the info reads and yeah i just put it into if my opponent's playing like that i put it into where they like have to see this card to be able to back up them playing that aggressive with the leader ability but uh yeah even with them hitting that it would have really mattered and yeah because they would have then again committed three trapped themselves down to one so then they wouldn't have been able to drop a uh, just another one in kid and killer they would have had to attack and then go from there so that is what you kind of want to do in the mirror just you got it's a little tricky you just have to adjust to what your opponent's kind of doing but again just put your opponent in tough spots depending on how they're how they're you don't this is like don management warfare where you gotta just kind of put them in a tough spot and stuff like that but uh 
yeah, nice to, uh, you know, come on top on that. All right, we got NL. We don't get our, we don't have a Sanji, so we'll just play around the stuff there. And we'll, yeah, we'll just go slow. And we just gotta adjust. Save this, so they do have the Gratsu. We have Queen, which is nice. I'm just gonna put two on. Attack him here, I'll leave the one up as like a, maybe, maybe we got something, maybe we don't. <laughs> but we'll see what they do here. Obviously, if they don't attack, we know they're going hand starve. So we can play around that. All right, they are attacking. So no hand starve. Okay, good to know. All right. So what do I want to do off in this then? These are with two. They're dropping the Hiori. Okay. I kind of want to do this combo, but we'll see I'm going to attack first just to see what this is because I'll then audible if it's a uh... okay so they do that interesting okay well never mind so now I could just drop this and then bring in this okay so we'll drop uh, this down and then we'll go one two three get rid of that bring in this here do that all right it's probably an onami or something then so they could just pop this off the the rip there but okay i'm finally going down to two so they drop the kiku i mean okay let me uh since we have another one of these i'm gonna make the play here and then we'll attack them here six on five i'm trying to make a read that this is okay or it's that all right <laughs> nothing i do about that but we can at least uh, knock them down to two here so I'll attack him again here and we'll play around some stuff. All right, so they have seven in hand. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna drop max to get rid of one of them. We're gonna bring in another kid. We're gonna go one, two, three. We're gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna bring in the blocker law. We're gonna hit this, use the card action, bang, get two rid of two of their cards, get two back, get us back to the sixth and we'll do that. <laughs> we got rid of their ace and their seven mom. So they're only at eight, so they can't drop you mod or anything. I do have a little bit of counter here to keep up our characters if they attack. Obviously we have the blockers too. I'd want to keep this up over law just because we get the stuff back and we'll just kind of go from there. We could potentially just go for the game next turn as well and see what happens. So we'll just do that. So they're attacking me seven on five or six on five. Um, in case they have the reject, we gotta play around reject. So I'm just going to do that. And then, uh, see what they do here. So six on five, I can do, uh, this and this. So they have seven. Oh, NL? Interesting. So they're doing that. Okay, well, we'll just do that. Okay, so I'm here. Do we go for the game is the question. Or I could get rid of this as well. Because we could do, we have Zoro, so I can do a bunch of combos here if I need to. But we could do also just launch a bunch of sevens at them. So I'm gonna put one on here. We'll attack them seven on five. We'll just go, uh, we're going aggressive here. We'll see if we can beat them early. It'll be pretty cool. Okay, they get the Capone. All right. I mean, okay. Hit him again, seven on five. Not over. So, okay, so that gets them down there. If they can't block out of this, we'll win. So we'll hit them here and go from there okay so they got so they hit okay well, what does that allow them to do? draw two trash from from one from their hand okay um we'll go one two three none bring in this do that and just hope they can't block hit black out of a, a nine so hit them not on five 
And all right, there we go. That's uh, pretty clinical on Enno, I'll say. I wasn't expecting this, but uh, yeah, being able to put everything. They got the Capone. Saved him a little bit, but Zoro coming in clutch for us there. Getting the two kids up, being aggressive, playing around that to try to force them into certain plays. And then also, too, again, against Enno, just pay attention to their Don. Um, obviously, the reason why I went so aggressive is because they weren't going to be able to drop uh, Yamato on that turn. And you can just play around and put them in a weird spot where, because we know they're going to drop the boss cards. So if you want to be push the pace and be aggressive, you just put them in a weird uh, space where if they want to drop their boss cards and do their game plan, then they then can't attack with the leader. And especially if you then take the risk <laughs> with like, leaving Kid rested, obviously Kid 6K. So if they drop anything crazy, then it wouldn't be able to attack him with leader anyways. So that's why, again, adjustment and stuff I like to make and everything there. But uh, yeah, things worked out for us. Fun little combo to hit this. I don't know if it would have really super changed things. I guess it wouldn't because they had this rush anyways, but they had both of these. But yeah, I'm glad, uh, again, get a beat up on uh, NL a little bit there. It's a matchup. Once you get, again, the reps in, pay attention to stuff, it comes together really, really nice. But uh, yeah, again, John Suka's build is great. I love it. It works really, really well, especially when you're able to, again, get the sequence stuff in and play around things there. But uh, yeah, want to do, again, get back into the rhythm here slowly as we got the new set. We got the bands coming up and the, the new set coming up here soon. And we'll be gearing into OP07, which will be very, very fun. I'm very excited for OP07. Because I feel like a lot of there's going to be a lot of variety. And it might be like the peak set for this game before we get to OP08. Where it just goes back to how it's been. Where one deck kind of dominates. So we'll see. But again, shout out to Jonsuko everybody. Please go subscribe to his uh, YouTube and everything. We're trying to get a, get the push. Get him closer to 1,000 subs. It would be a cool goal to reach. And yeah, obviously all his info and stuff will be in the description. Also probably probably in the comments and stuff like that. But yeah, RP Law, getting back into it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.